Well, this is the end, beautiful friends. After 8,765.82 hours, 365 days, 52 weeks, and 12 months, this is the last day of 2021. Damn, can you believe that this year went by fast? And I gotta tell you, my two cents about 2021, it was no better than 2020, but it was no worse than 2020 either. One, we're still in this pandemic shit, which I thought it would disappear by now, but it's still going on to this day. People are walking around not wearing a mask in public. Guys, whether or not you're vaccinated, you still have to wear a mask in public. Even if you are vaccinated, you still got to wear a mask in public. Just because you are fully vaccinated doesn't mean that you have to stop wearing a mask. Please wear a damn mask in public. Because you don't know what the fuck could happen. I know 2021 was definitely a tough year for the family of DMX. His fiance Desiree, his ex-wife Tashira, and his 15 children. And I know this year has been a tough year for him for his family and all the legends of hip-hop and the new generation of rappers that grew up listening to dmx that work with him or that knew him personally from ja rule to method man to red man to ll cool j to cannabis um jay-z lil kim the locks mace all these legends that work with X or that knew him personally definitely miss him. DMX is not the only legend that we lost this year, but his passing, he his passing definitely hit me the most. DMX's passing felt like Kobe Bryant's passing all over again. DMX is not the only legend that we lost this year. We lost, we just lost Betty White today, 17 days before her 100th birthday. Betty White died unexpectedly this morning at 199 years old, 17 days before what would have been her 100th birthday. <sighs> what a bad way to end 2021, because last year we end 2020 with the news of the passing of MF Doom. Now, this year, we end 2021 with the passing of Betty White. <sighs> and we also lost other legends, Betty White, DMX, Black Rob, Shock G, Prince Marky D, Michael K. Williams, Biz Markey, and we recently lost John Madden. I'm not a huge fan of the John Madden NFL games, but I used to play the hell out of them back in the 2000s. <sighs> Rest in peace to all the famous people and all the regular people that we lost this year. I lost my stepdad on May 26th, and I almost lost my dad two weeks before his birthday, and I thought I was going to lose him again before Christmas, but he's doing fine now. But my stepdad's passing definitely hit me more than DMX's passing. And I also had to retire my 2002 Chevy Trailblazer after we had it in our family for 19 years. And I drove it for 12 years, even before I graduated from high school and before I started working in my job. I now drive a 2003 Chevy Tahoe in honor of my stepdad. So my stepdad is definitely going to be missed. There isn't a day that I don't think about him. But he's definitely going to continue watching over me and the rest of my family. Another thing I didn't like about 2021 is my family didn't bother throwing me a surprise party or doing anything special for me for my birthday. And they knew damn well that I was turning dirty 30 this year. I did get some birthday gifts, which is cool, but I didn't get no surprise party, no birthday cake, no balloons with the numbers three and oh, 
none of that. So to make up for that, I'm planning to go out of town for my birthday between June 16th and I'll be back home on Father's Day. You know, when you become a big age, your family's supposed to come up with something special like a surprise party for you, whether you're turning 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, etc. Your family's supposed to do something special for your big birthday. And that's exactly what I didn't get. <sighs> but I am going to make it up for it next year on my 31st. Shout out to all my peoples that turned 30 years old this year besides myself. And all the people that turned 25 this year. And turned 20. And turned 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, etc. Shout out to all the people that's going to be turning 30 years old in 2022. So. And another thing that I didn't like about 2021 is that I've lost several followers on Twitter and Instagram this year. And that's why I'm planning to, to deactivate both my main and backup Twitter accounts until I'm fully recovered from all the people that I was being toxic and negative to this year and last year. But I will reactivate them before 30 days are up. So I'm not going to be on Twitter for the next two, three weeks. I'm going to deactivate both my main account and my backup account. And to all the people that I was being toxic and negative to on social media this year, I definitely apologize to you. And I hope you find it in your heart to unblock me sometime in 2022. If not, I'll just forget about you and just move the fuck on and make new followers. But hopefully 2022 gets better. Hopefully this pandemic shit dies down a little bit. I mean, we already back outside, but we really want to take these stupid ass masks off and get back to doing what we was doing before this pandemic shit happened. I think the pandemic, the uh, COVID actually started like around late 2019. Then it hit here in the U.S. in March of 2020. And it's still going on almost two years later. So hopefully nothing bad happens in 2022. I, let's just pray and hope that 2022 becomes better. Now, I'm going to end this last rant of 2021 of mine in the good words of Fat Joe whenever he closes out his Fat Joe podcast. When you going through some shit and you need someone to hold you down like your so-called friends or family members and they're not around when you need them, you need to know they are not your people. Put God in your life first before somebody else. When you, If you're going through like financial issues, jail, horrible relationships, illness, and you got on your knees and you prayed to God and God gave you a miracle. When things are good, still believe in God. God is powerful. God is always here for you. He'll always protect you 24-7, 365. He will never leave you. He will never let you down. Sometimes he may give us a little stumbles and falls so we'll know who is with us and what we got to do. I got a bunch of cool rants coming in 2022. Of course, I got more Attitude Era rants coming. My first Attitude Era rant of 2022 is definitely coming tomorrow. Reminiscing 21 years of a rematch between William Regal and Stone Cold Steve Austin from the New Year's Day 2001 edition of Raw is War with Stephanie McMahon as the special guest referee. I was going to do that on New Year's Day this year, but I took a three-day social media break. So I got more attitude error rants coming, more ruthless aggression error rants coming. I definitely want to get back to doing more video reactions. And I got more 
TV schedule reviews coming, and of course, more video game reviews coming. Y'all know last Sunday, December 19th, was my seven-year anniversary of reviewing video games. So maybe this Sunday, I'll go over what games that I reviewed and game systems between 2014 and 2021. And I'll let you know what games and game systems I will be reviewing in 2022. And I'm definitely going to do reactions to more NBA final games. I'm planning to do a reaction to the 1992 finals, the 1997 finals, the 2002 finals, and the 2007 finals in honor of their 30th, 25th, 20th, and 15th anniversaries. And of course, more Beavis and Butthead, Daria, and Celebrity Deathmatch rants are coming. More game plays are coming. I got all of that shit coming in 2022. So after this last video of 2021, hopefully it will leave you with some good memories. So until we meet again in 2022, stay gold. And as I always say at the end of my rants, don't follow your dreams, chase them. See y'all in 2022. Bang.